All right, so today we're going to work on the heating system for our camper. Uh, this is an older unit. This is the Atwood 8531-4. See right in there? Dash DCLP. Uh, what the problem is, is that the uh, time delay switch, which is not there, it's over here. That one is either broken or the board is broken. Circuit board. This is the new part for the delay switch here. So we're going to be replacing that with this. This is the diagram for it. If you want to pause, that's cool. Um, the old connections were here. Those are the color wires going to the circuit board and other places. And this is the wiring, uh, the color um, of the wiring for the new switch. So hopefully just by replacing this one, we'll be good to go. Uh, I'll put the circuit board back in. If it still doesn't work, I'll replace the circuit board. But that's what we're doing here. Uh, so let me uh, do some installs and get right back to you. The uh, install, it's quick really. For the circuit board, you just want to slide it in there. Just slide it in and then this uh, power clip goes onto there. And then that red cable will go on to the top of that capacitor right there. So I'm just going to do that. It slides in. It's pretty easy. And we'll get right back to you. There we just put the uh, circuit board back in. You can see the wing nut up there. That's what's holding the, the board in. This just clips right back in here. Um, oh yeah. <clears throat> Shut it off before I plug this one in. So we plug that in there. Nice and easy. Okay. That should be all set. Make sure you switch that off. That's the first thing I should have done. <laughs> That's how I am. Now we're going to put the replacement switch in right in there. And we'll see what that looks like in a second. Hold on. Okay, so before I screw it all in, these are the connections on how they should be put back in there. Okay, it's just the same way as the diagram is there, so yellow on the bottom, red on top there. That's uh that yellow and black are connected to the same one. Blue over here, blue over here. Uh, well, I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna see if it clicks to fire up the uh, furnace. That's the reason why this was broken. The uh, time delay switch, if that was broke, that would mess up the timing of the igniter. So the board ha happens to be instrumental in igniting this as well. If that's good, we're good. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go turn the thermostat on. Power switch is on. Here's our thermostat. Turn on the heat. Turn on that. Let's see if it kicks on a little bit. Okay, it just kicked on. That took a little while. Now let's see if the igniter starts up. There it is. All right, that's a good test. All right, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna turn the gas on now and see if we get ignition. Hold on. Okay. Engine's back on. Let's wait for the clicking. It takes about 10 seconds. Yep. There we go. I hear flames. Feel nice hot air coming from there. This heater is fixed. Don't have to buy a new board for $180, even though it looks like hell. But uh, hey, that's how we roll. All good. I'm gonna let it run for a while, make sure everything's okay. And away we go. Gracias. <laughs> 